Billy T. The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confusing me. So we have some ice, we're going to do about a third or fourth of a cup of ice, one banana, a third cup of strawberries, a third cup of blueberries, and then three fourths cups of milk or yogurt, whichever you prefer. And then for like our kind of to taste, you don't have a specific measurement, we have honey and we also have some almonds here as well. If you don't have honey at home, you can also use some maple syrup that you guys use for your pancakes and sweeten it up. Mm -hmm. just because it's already cold, it's already frozen, so you're gonna get that thickness from it. Just make sure you guys keep a heads up on that. If you guys wanna add something else to make your smoothie extra special, you can put some peanut butter in this, you can add some granola on top, anything that you guys, any fruit that you guys like will go great in here. Yeah, honestly, any fruit cocktail mix, you can even buy the um, pre-cut, pre-bagged ones at the grocery stores with all si sorts of fruits in them already. You have so many different arrays of fruits. They're all so good, and um, the sweeter the better in my mind. But um, for mine, because I do like it sweet, um, I want to change mine up just a little bit, and I have um, a bowl of some frozen veggies right here, so I'm going to throw some of these in here as well for another little bonus to my diet to help me feel good and strong. All right, so we have our lids on. Make sure when you're making a smoothie, put the lid on. If it has this little piece in the center, make sure that it's on there because when you hit blend and those liquids start to flow inside the cylinder, it's going to shoot up out of here if you do not have the lid on. So please have your lids on. So just to make sure, you said have it on. No, I said have it on, please. <laughs> make sure you have it on. Yeah, it's a good tip. Okay. All right, and we're going to Alright, so this is the thing that can happen when you're making smoothies. You have to have enough liquid in it for all of this thick ice and fruit and frozen fruit to be able to blend up. So I have a little bit of ice in there, but it hasn't melted. I have yogurt in here, but it's not enough. So what I'm going to do for my smoothie at least, and what you can do at home, is you can add a little bit of milk or water or maybe orange juice, apple juice, any kind of juice, any kind of liquid that you would like, you can add into your smoothie. Um, Miss Sai, what are you gonna do over there? I was actually gonna stir it up and then see if it worked and then add a little water. <laughs> That's a smart idea too. So, I mean, both plans of action can work. Okay, so before I start my blender up, I'm actually gonna take it off just because we do not want it to turn on while we are stirring it up and trying to fix it. Not only will it splash at your face, but there are blades on the bottom and you could get hurt. So make sure your blenders are off and that you have this out of the stirring thingy. So after we've uh, done our little manipulations to try and make sure our smoothies actually blend, uh, we will put our machines back on our rotator part right here. We put our lids back on and hopefully there's enough liquid in there to make a smooth smoothie. That's the name. Have been 
it. It's liquidy. We can see it sloshing around in there. So Miss Sai and I have our cups. We're going to pour and taste test. And this is the part where if you wanted to taste your smoothie and been like, I want it a little bit sweeter or I want to add this fruit in it, this is your time. This is your taste test portion. So um, we're going to separate six feet so we can take our masks down yes. and do a little taste review. And then we can see if it's perfect or if we want to add something else to sweeten it up. I think it's great. It's super good. But for me, I would blend it a little more because I don't like tasting the almonds, but it's delicious. What about you, Vinny? Meanwhile, I think mine's really perfect for me. Mine's a little thick, but I like my smoothies a little bit thicker. It honestly tastes like a homemade yogurt. Um, and then I also have the vegetables in it, which tricks my infant toddler mind into thinking I'm actually eating real vegetables because I don't know how to be an adult. So this is great for me. All right, so one of the best parts about smoothies is, as you can see, we have a lot extra yeah. here, and I'm not gonna be able to eat all that. I don't know about you, Miss Sai. I mean, I could, but I like to share. Yeah, me too. So I think we're going to divvy out our smoothies, one with veggies, one without, and we get extra reviews just to make sure that we're not lying. This is actually really good. <laughs> All right, so we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you do make your own smoothies, please show us on your class dojos because I want to see if you guys have any sort of really exotic fruits that you want to blend in here. I'm talking like dragon fruit, star fruit, kiwis, all sorts of stuff. We want to see what you guys would like to make in a smoothie. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. Yep, I hope after you had these smoothies that it made you have a smoother day.